What's up guys, my name is Idan. Welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about how much does it actually cost to sell an item on Amazon FBA and eventually how much do you actually make. In my last video, I talked about how to start an Amazon FBA account, how you don't have to pay to learn how to do it. I got a comment asking me, but how much do you make? And I think it's a great question. This is what we're gonna focus on in this video. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you. This video brought to you by Dragon Touch Digital Photo Frame. It features 15.6 inch of display. It's very, very bright and it even comes with a remote control. You can set up Wi-Fi and send photos from your phone with an app. It's so easy. The colors are bright and the whole thing is a touch display. It even features a storage of 16 gigs so you can store all your photos in there. Check it out in the link in the description below. All right, so this is a quick uh, review over the Amazon fees. So it's basically 40 bucks a month or a dollar per product if you sell less than 40 products a month, I guess. It's hard to calculate exactly how much fee that is because it depends on how much you sell. I guess let's call it a dollar because you guys are probably beginners if you're watching this video. So I'm gonna pull up a calculator and start with a dollar cost per product sold on Amazon. Going back to the video I made about Amazon FBA start selling on Amazon, it's $8.76 for eight different dog collars. If you calculate that, it's basically $1.10 per product. The next step is to actually package it. So if you remember, I used some envelopes to package it. And if we go to Amazon, a 250 pack of those envelopes cost $40. With the tax, it's $44. So $44 divided by 250 envelopes, it's actually 17.6 cents, so basically 18 cents per envelope to package it. Now there's cheaper ways to do it. You can use bags, you can use nothing. You can just ship it as is. But I like to put it in an envelope. And if you buy more of them, it's cheaper. You know, if you buy a lot, obviously the price goes down on the envelopes. But uh, we're gonna add 18 cents to our dollar and 10 cents. So $2.28 so far is our cost. But we have another cost. We shipped it to Amazon Warehouse. So if I go back to the video and calculate that, that's nine cents per product to ship on uh, Amazon. With an extra nine cents per product, it's obviously if you ship a lot of products, if you ship only one, it'll be much more expensive, but we're definitely gonna try to ship as many as we can. It's $2.37 total so far. Uh, now, there is more fees. Obviously, once you sell, there's selling fees. Now, let's figure out the selling fees. Now they have this amazing, nice calculator. You see, uh, estimate your Amazon sales margin. You can kind of see how much money we can make. So we can write exactly all the information here and see how much money we're gonna make. All right, so uh, the cost of goods so far, you know, we got $2.37. We're gonna type $2.37 here. Listing price is $9.49. I remember I did it a little bit lower to stay competitive, but again, it's up to you. Product category will be pets. Pet supplies, here you go. So I found pet supplies. Uh, fulfillment by Amazon. Again, we're not shipping it ourselves. Amazon is doing it for us. And uh, let's ship the size. The size is less than 10 ounces. It's a very small product. And our total margin is $3.19. So you see cost of goods, $2.38. This is exactly what we typed. Uh, the referral fee is $1.42, so it's about 10 to 15%, depending on the product. Every product is different. And there is also FBA fee, which is them shipping it for you. $2.50, by the way, is an amazing price. Try to ship on first class this product, and you're probably going to pay four or five bucks, and it's not going to arrive in two days. <laughs> so this is actually a, a pretty impressive number. If you have an account, you have another calculator where we can go and actually find that product. I never used this one before. We're gonna use it together. The item price will be nine nine forty nine, right? Uh, and we're gonna use Amazon fulfillment. You can kind of see. You can compare the two. Wow, this is amazing. You can compare the two and, and compare. Is it cheaper for me to go and sell it myself? or ship it through Amazon. And you know what, we're gonna do that together. I was not planning this on this video, but I think it's a great idea to uh, kind of calculate it. Now shipping, I estimate about, you know, let's not estimate, let me go check. I have a software called stamps.com. I can put an address in there um, in a far location and we already know how many ounces it weights so we can kind of calculate how much it costs. So I checked on stamps.com and it's $4.20 
to ship this product pretty much anywhere in the US first class, okay? Next cost, ship to Amazon because we do have to ship it to Amazon. It's only nine cents on my case, but you can fill up whatever your number is here. Monthly storage cost. Let's say you have a storage unit and it costs $70. And for some reason you have so much dark colors, it takes 10% of that storage. That's $7 per month that cost you to store them. Now, as you can see, it's blank on the screen on the fulfillment by Amazon because you don't pay anything unless you mess up, but it's free for you to store products pretty much on Amazon uh, unless you overdo it. Monthly cost, obviously it's zero because you know, there's no, it's such a small product. Oh my bad, you see how in the shipping it adds to the price? I'm not charging any shipping, okay? It's free shipping, because this is free shipping, this is free shipping, um, but cost of fulfilling, here you go. Now it, this is makes more sense. Labor, we have packaging material and ship to customer. Wow, wonderful. I, I really like this calculator. So 4.2, uh, the packaging material is 17 cents and uh, customer service, we're gonna do that um, for free for now. All right, so now we got some interesting numbers here. We're gonna look at it together. Amazon fulfillment, $9.49. If I fulfill it, same price, $9.49. The fees is the same, $1.42 for the Amazon selling fee. That depends on the category, okay? Uh, now we have cost of fulfillment for me, if I ship it, and the envelope, it will be $4.37. Uh, shipping to Amazon is $0.09, cents. Uh, fulfillment by Amazon fees is $3.31, and uh, you see, we can kind of see all the numbers here. And we actually are making more money if we sell it from Amazon, look at this. So our net profit is $2.47, so this is a bit uh, lower than what I calculated myself, but maybe this calculator is a little bit more accurate. So 26% profit margin, which is pretty much the minimum entry, in my opinion, 20% is the minimum entry to sell on a almost anything because returns and things like that, if you sell something online, that's my opinion, but it's up to you. Uh, but you can kind of see here, it shows you the cost, there's, there's a graph here for the revenue, the cost, how much fees you're paying and all that. This is amazing. Now I can also see estimated monthly units sold. Let's say uh, on the numbers here, I say uh, I'm gonna sell 100 of those per month and I can kind of see like, oh wow, I'm gonna make $247 a month uh, out of this deal. And if I ship it myself, I only make $151. Uh, this is a nice way to also check if you should convert your product from eBay to Amazon. You know, if you're selling on, Amazon, on eBay right now, you're kind of doing the left side of things. You're paying the fees and everything. Now, if you are doing it from Amazon, you're kind of going to the right, the right side of the calculator, the Amazon Fulfillment Center. I know this is a lot of numbers, but this is important, especially if you really want to make money out of this. Like, if you mess up small things here, you will, it will cost you. You know, for example, if shipping to Amazon costs you $2 per product, we're looking at a whole different numbers and you're only making $57 selling a hundred, you know? So all those little things make a huge difference, you know, on, on, on how much money you actually make. Now, let's say you are went to directly to the manufacturer and told them like, hey, uh, I have a business license. I don't wanna pay for the sales taxes and I wanna buy like a thousand from you. Can you make me a good deal? And he's like, you know what? Yes, I will ship it to you already packed in an envelope or in a bag for 80 cents each. So the cost of product lowers dramatically, you know, to 80 cents. And now we can see a whole different profit margins. Now there's also the monthly fee. To be an Amazon seller on Amazon, you have to pay 40 bucks. So you have to calculate that too, or a dollar, per product that you sell. So if you calculate that, there's definitely uh, a little bit lower cost here, but if you sell thousands of items, it's really negligible. The 40 bucks is like, yeah, take it, no problem. It's fine. I really like this calculator. I think anybody who is selling on Amazon or thinking about selling on Amazon, go to this calculator, fill up all the info, you will know exactly what to do. Should I ship it by myself? Should I ship it with Amazon? Or should I not sell this product at all? All this information we're able to show you and make a right decision. I hope I answered all your questions in this video. Leave a comment below what else you want me to talk about with Amazon FBA. Now I have about a year experience and actually pretty good income to actually be able to share with my experience with you guys 
just like I did with any other gig economy job or whatever. So subscribe to watch more videos like this on how much I really, really appreciate it. And leave a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.